Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 28th, 2024. Well, I hope everyone had a great weekend, ready for another wild week. And this is going to be an exceptionally wild week with big tech earnings reports as the theme of the week. And there's huge anticipation for these numbers. So what happened overnight? Well, first off, we had Asian markets had a good night last night. They were up across the board, really looking good overall. Um, some modesty in um, um, Australia up 0.12%, but then Nikkei was up 1.82%. We saw India, South Korea, Hong Kong was up um, a very modest 0.04% in the Shanghai 0.68%. If we take a look, and that's even after they had some terrible economic numbers that came out. If we take a look at European markets this morning, however, European markets also green across the board, but rather modestly, we've got the DAX up 0.03%, the FTSE up, um, well, basically flat here this morning, and uh, the CAC is up 0.1, excuse me, 0.41%. If we take a look at U.S. futures, well, that's not the case. U.S. futures are roaringly bullish in anticipation of big tech week, um, with the Dow surging up um, 224 points in the pre-market, or 0.53 percent. S&P 500 up 35.25 points, 0 0.60 percent. And the NASDAQ futures up 157.75, a whopping 0.77% potential gap up open this morning on the tech sector. Um, if we take a look at other things out there that are a little bit on the concerning side, while that's going on, bond yields are going up. Two-year bonds at 4.11%, the 10-year bonds at 4.26%, and the 30-year bonds at 4.52%. It seems that the bond market is 100% in disagreement with this rally in the market and may be suggesting the possibility that we're forming a bit of a um, tech bubble um, at the moment. If we take a look at um, oil this morning, now oil having a really tough day here. Let's look at XLE looking at a big gap down. Israel um, had several attacks in Iran. None of them targeted oil facilities, so the market's really happy about that and oil is falling dramatically here this morning we've got oil futures right now down a whopping six percent um, as the fall continues here uh, this morning down uh, four dollars and 15 cents a barrel at 67.62 a barrel we've got brent falling as well and down 4.41 dollars per barrel at 71.64 a barrel so really falling here 5.8 percent natural gas is also falling hard this morning down about 13 and a half cents this morning in reaction now when we take a, a look at the precious metals gold pulling back here after a zooming day on friday Pulling back here just a little bit, $11.90 an ounce uh, coming down. We've got silver coming down um, about 22 cents here this morning, pulling back. Copper's down, platinum is down, and palladium continuing to show that potential for increase here this morning up $16.80 an ounce. Taking a look at crypto this morning, well, if we remember, Bitcoin had a pretty rough day on Friday, and we're seeing Bitcoin reverse that here this morning, gapping up $757 a coin here at the moment, 1.12%, uh, and Ether is up 1.37%, with a little bit of mix. Litecoin is actually lower here this morning, so keep an eye on that as we progress throughout the day. So, 
Now that we've looked at all of that, what does all that mean for the day? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to look at these charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be, and be focused in on the price action here without bias. So let's take a look here. We're getting a pretty gap, big gap up here this morning. You can see that was our close on Friday on the diamonds. Looking at a gap up right into this price resistance of the chart that I've got marked right here. If you look right there, there's that price resistance. So if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here this morning, then maybe we can start pushing up and maybe deal with the top side of that candle, see if we can break through up there. And if we can, then I would look for a test of this resistance in the chart. Of course, breaking through there, would be a big day for the market. But if it did break through up there, remember we've got some additional resistance levels up here as we progress back up toward those all time highs. Now, if the bears were to find some inspiration here today and push back, we might see that pushback that would occur, maybe pushing back down here to test this low in the chart. If we were to break below that, then I'm gonna suggest we're gonna come on down to test the support level of all of this consolidation in here. It may have drawn that just a little bit high, but you kind of get my point there. We could pull down into the bottom of that. And then failing through there, I would suggest this price support right in here, which is a nice little price support. Uh, we might catch some support right in there. If we take a look at our SPY, there's our SPY is still a bullish chart although we do have a little bit of concern that came in here at the end of the week but looking at this big gap up here this morning we're trying to address here today whether or not we're going to break back through that resistance right here in the chart see if we can push back up through there we're trying to get that done here this morning and if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration well i'm going to suggest that next area up here would be retesting these all-time highs and then of course blue sky above and there's nothing about that chart that says bearishness at the moment however if those bears were to find some inspiration here then pushing back down maybe retesting these lows here in the chart is what we'd be looking at breaking down below there possibly coming down into this area of price support. And that's a pretty nice little support area of the chart to hold. Unfortunately, that would give that little bit of concern of a failure in the trend up here um, if we were to break down through there. And of course, beyond that point, then we see a pretty strong support down in here that we could possibly pull back and, and test if the bears really got going. Taking a look at the QQQ, QQQ remains a very bullish chart. The NASDAQ on Friday kissed um, a the, the NASDAQ composite, anyway, um, kissed a new record high. Now that didn't happen in the Qs, which is interesting, but the QQQ pushed up to test that resistance here in the chart, look for that breakout, just couldn't get her done. Ended up pulling all the way back. So you can see this morning we're gapping right back up into this area to see whether or not we can punch through it this time. And if we can punch through there, our next level would be the QQQ all-time high. And then, of course, blue sky above that. However, if those bears were to find inspiration here, and it's unlikely that they will because we have no big tech reports today, and yet we are so heavily in anticipating these reports with huge confidence apparently that these numbers are just going to be fantastic numbers we'll have to wait and see but if they happen to stumble or disappoint then i would look for a little pullback into here to test that area of support and then the trend breaking down below there i would see this area of price support in the chart picking up and if we pushed really hard breaking on down into this area of price support in the chart 
would be a possibility, but I think we're going to have to see some disappointing big tech earnings for that to occur later on this week. If we take, and so I wouldn't rule out all time highs possible prior to those um, big tech reports coming in. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM, well, a little bit of concern here in IWM. We tried to pop up and deal with this resistance in the chart on Friday, ended up with a bearish engulfing, pulling back, but you can see this big gap up gives us that opportunity that if the bulls can continue to find inspiration, perhaps we run up there and test that. Now, this might be a little bit of a challenge because one of the things we have seen is when big tech is moving, IWM can barely find the volume to get anything done. So we'll watch that carefully. But if it can push through that level, then I would start looking for this next area up here for a retest. Of course, then we push into this recent high to see if we can test that again. And then of course, breaking above, we're looking at the 2021-2022 highs in IWM all the way back over here that could supply the next area of resistance in the chart. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, I'm going to look for a little pullback in here. If that were to occur, test that support in the chart right there. If that holds, no problem. But if that breaks, we might come down into this area price support and then maybe even see this kind of flat, a very light upside trend that we've got going in here on the Russell. Watch that area for some price support. If the, all of that were to fail, then I'm looking at the possibility that we could come pretty sharply down into this area of the chart, maybe catching a few support areas in the way on the way down. Watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX rallied on Friday pretty substantially, showing some fear came into the market. That raises that concern of that possible higher low. But with the wild bullishness that we have this morning in the pre-market, um, completely reversing what happened on Friday, we'll want to watch that carefully here. Because if those bulls can find enough inspiration here and push us back below that area of price support, that could be very, very important. And maybe we could push on down to find these next areas of price support in the chart, relieving some of that pressure. Remember, we are zooming up in the market on a VIX that is 20. Not a normal thing. We're hitting record highs with a VIX of 20. Again, not a normal thing that we would normally see. There's some fear or some uncertainty in the market. And breaking that downtrend right there is that little clue that there is some concern. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration and reverse this back to the downside, notice we've got a little bit of resistance right there. It could be tested, but then we'd be up here testing this recent these recent highs in the VIX. And breaking higher from here raises that concern of that higher low in the VIX. And that's usually where real selling can come into play. Let's take a look at our T20s. Our T2122 indicator. Well, the good news here is we've relieved so much of that buy pressure here that we could get a nice little relief rally. And we're getting a lot of pre-market activities say that we're going to get that relief rally here. So watch this carefully as we pull, as we've pulled back the bull's inspiration. Uh, this morning gives us plenty of upside potential here in the market. So watch that closely. And if the bears were to find inspiration, we still have more downside opportunity as well to be paying attention to. Um, if we take a look at our T20s, um, T2008, percentage of stocks above their 40-day moving average. Well, we were selling off into Friday, pushing down um, only 43% of the stocks above their 50-day, uh, excuse me, above their 40-day moving average. You can see in here, um, if the bulls were to find inspiration, we got a little resistance here, and then we could push up into this area, back up toward that 50% area. The big bullish push here we'll, we're looking at this morning, I'm going to suggest the possibility we could turn and rip 
right back up through there. Now the question is, will it hold? But watch that carefully for that possibility. If the bears were to continue to push this down, I'm gonna look down here into the areas of the 40s in the chart. You know, let's take a look at our T21. 07 our t2107 also pulled back here on friday breaking some support but with the bullishness this morning i would look for that push back up possibly even breaking back through that resistance and then we'll start pushing on up here for these resistance areas if the bears however were to come in and find that inspiration well pushing on lower first thing i'm going to be doing is watching this area of price support down here around 50 percent here in the chart if we take a look at our t2101 t2101 move to the upside now here's some good news um, we're starting to slip out from under the uh, corporate buyback um, situation so corporate buybacks can begin except for all of those companies that still have to report they've still got a ways to go and there's obviously quite a few that um, are, are still going to report that are going to have to wait a little bit of time but corporate buybacks are starting to pull back and that can give us a lot more breadth here we've had record buybacks going on in the market for several quarters here so watch that carefully here we might see that breadth um, really improve over the next uh, couple of weeks um, we'll want to watch this carefully on today to make sure that there is bullish breadth following through to the upside with this big pop here this morning let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar well we've got not much going on here today as you can see we've got dallas fed manufacturing and we don't care that we are in a manufacturing recession nobody cares as long as big tech is fine so it doesn't really matter what they report these have been terrible numbers nobody cares the market doesn't care at all so keep an eye on that they're looking for that negative nine to continue here in dallas fed manufacturing if we take a look we've got some bond auctions in here to be paying attention to and that's about it for the day now looking into tuesday as we plan forward we've got international trading goods obviously that is a market mover we got retail sales wholesale inventory or retail inventories and wholesale inventories case shiller we've got um, um, house price index we've got a consumer confidence number we've got a job openings report coming in here on wednesday with some bond auctions on um, excuse me on tuesday on wednesday normal mortgage applications adp gdp number coming in there on wednesday um, certainly a market mover uh, treasury um, refunding agreement um, again we've got more bond uh, announcements pending home sales eia petroleum status a little bit of a bond auction here survey of business inventories in there as well and then if we look into thursday jobless claims personal incomes and outlays employment cost index chicago pmi we've got um, a natural gas report in there we're going to have some bond auctions and a fed balance sheet and then of course on friday we're going to have that employment situation number in here to be paying attention to watch that closely we've got pmi uh, manufacturing uh, final ism report construction spending and a baker hughes rig count so we've got a very very busy um, into this week with a lot of jobs data coming in so keep an eye on those numbers as we continue to see these bond yields going up the bond yields are showing us that they believe there's a problem here in the market if we start seeing jobs numbers hotter than expected yeah watch that carefully let's take a look at our um, um, earnings calendar here for today and our earnings calendar well we've got so much going on here today there's no way i can cover it all so i'm going to suggest everyone click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that first list of notables um, uh, this morning it's not too bad we've got acad um, on the list here this morning they will be reporting uh, boh reporting this morning hope 
on there. We've got on semiconductor reporting um, SJW for a few of those here. This afternoon, we're going to hear from Boot. Um, we've got BRO in there. We're going to hear from CWH. We've got um, CVI that we'll re be reporting. Um, let's see, jumping through a few more of these, we got um, REG. We're going to hear from um, UCTT. Um, waste management is going to be in there. So there's a few of the notables for this afternoon. But make sure you check that link and uh, catch that from the morning blog. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that um, um, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much, everyone who does take the time to do that. Thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to leave a comment that helps the channel as well. You guys are very, very awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Let's take a look at a few of these charts that could be setting up. And remember, everyone, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. Do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. And remember, anything is possible once we get into these big tech reports. We can have big overnight gap ups or gap downs as a result of those numbers. So make sure you're prepared for that and have a plan to protect yourself. Let's take a look at uh, Disney. D Disney has had a pretty good move here finally. It's been struggling for a long time, but finally coming up out of this bottom pattern in here, and you can see this nice little breakthrough resistance. We're coming back in here to trend. I've placed a price alert on this chart. I'm going to be keeping an eye on Disney. We got plenty of time before the earnings to maybe make some money with it. Keep an eye on that. It is trying to push up. It's holding above its 50 day. It's in that round of bottom breakout pattern. Keep an eye on Disney. It may be starting to come back around. DOCU, as you know, I've been watching that and I think this is a pretty decent setup. Obviously, Friday was pretty tough, but now we're trying to reverse everything here that occurred on Friday. So if we can hold this support in here, I would. there's, there's your support. Um, we might see that opportunity that that could push on through that alert and continue on higher. So keep an eye on DICU. Kind of like in the way international paper is setting up. As a matter of fact, I really like the fact that it rested back after breaking this trend here in the chart. So you can see we did break this support on Friday, but you'll notice that we're gapping right back up here this morning. So watch for this pattern in here to potentially turn on higher uh, in international paper. I think that's a pretty good looking chart. Let's take a look at some of the tech sector in here that we'll be reporting this week. We've got Google that will be reporting and they have been struggling in here. Remember, they've got all of this antitrust stuff going on, the possible breakup. Um, being um, talked about by the government. So watch that carefully here. They're trying to gap this morning in the pre-market, trying to break that resistance. Remember, they will be reporting here on Tuesday afternoon. So watch that carefully here uh, for that. Um, take a look at AMD. AMD made this nice little rally back here the last couple of days into this resistance in the chart. Now this also is going to be reporting on the 29th. Watch that carefully. I think this still has that possibility that we could be forming a bit of a head and shoulders top. So watch that carefully. If this were to fail, off of this um, area right here. I'd be a little bit concerned about that. Watch that carefully. If we take a look at Apple. Now, Apple has had a lot of stories coming out. Um, there, I'll type the right symbol. Um, a lot of stories coming out with concerns about the iPhone sales. They um, canceled 10 million orders. There's been some analysts out there suggesting that this may miss. We'll see, Apple's had a pretty good track record of making things work, but watch that carefully in here, setting right on this little trend. 
the bulls can find inspiration we could move right on through to the upside however if the bears were to find some inspiration here and we fail at a lower high watch carefully how quickly that could move lower and become disappointing so watch that carefully this is going to report here on the 31st so that'll be in there on thursday we have a big week of big tech giants reporting in the anticipation that we can see in the pre-market right now is truly remarkable there is so much hope and hype that these numbers are going to produce some blowout results we'll see um, be careful take a look at uh, Carvana here beautiful bullish pop out of the box pattern here as you can see in the chart you can see where my price alert was there and this has just been moving right up now I wouldn't chase it here but if this were to rest consolidate look for that next opportunity for that chart looking pretty good over overall cpng is another one of those patterns where we kind of broke that support rally back and now we're holding it in here look for that next opportunity that cpng might move through to the upside i'm going to have to continue to recommend everyone keep an eye on what's going on here in the u.s dollar u.s dollar continuing to show strength we are pulling back just a tiny little bit this morning in uup but when i look at dollar futures dollar futures are up almost 27 cents here this morning um, showing that the dollar is continuing to strengthen as bond yields continue to go up so watch that carefully here in the market you know if you need any proof of that take a look at um, these bond funds bnd they have been dropping and pulling back hard as the dollar strengthens there is a problem here according to the bonds i don't know which one is right if the market is going to end up being right on all of this if the bond market's going to end up being right but we need to be prepared because something is not right here something is out of sync in the market and we'll want to be watching carefully for those potential whips or reversals here in the market so be cautious here i wouldn't want to chase this gap up open here this morning and just race in blindly watch carefully to make sure that we don't end up gapping up and dropping here on the day i'm not saying that's going to occur at all i would watch for that carefully and watch for clues to make sure we're actually going to follow through to the upside so watch carefully there when we take a look at tesla oh my goodness tesla has had quite um, a move to the upside despite the fact that there's a couple analysts out there saying this is going to fade um, we're up here testing this big resistance here in the chart watch that carefully for that potential little relief or pullback uh, to occur here in the market at any time on Tesla. Watch that carefully. Take a look at LAC. Now, I'm guessing LAC Lithium is getting a little bit of um, some support in this move to the upside because it's odd to see a commodity like this racing to the upside while um, the dollar is moving up but we're also seeing that in gold and silver and all kinds of commodities so um, this might caught a, might have caught a little bit of benefit from um, the tesla um, report looking really good in here i would look for a rest or pullback in here now consolidation and then look for the next opportunity there in lithium coming around nicely here out of this bottom um, made that completed rounded bottom breakout right up here to the 200 so now i'd look for a little bit of rest but if it can rest in here notice we've got this area right in here that we're going to have to deal with in the chart but watch that carefully because if we can pop through that look at this nice gap above that could be filled so rest here for a little while and then maybe look for that opportunity for that to move on higher here in lithium so several good charts here for you to look at today I'm running out of time i want to wish you guys all the very best thanks so much for being here remember everyone we still have the seven dollar uh, trial going on for RWO and um, if you have any interest in that whatsoever just jump over to the website at hitrundcandlesticks.com it'll be right there on the front page you can take the uh, take the trial we'd love to see you here 
um, and see if we can help you with your trading. You can always be around for, for 30 days asking any questions that you want. See if I can help you. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I want to wish you all the best. Um, uh, be safe and I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day everyone.